St. Mark's Hospital. The Procedure. What happens during the procedure? In the procedure room, we will ask you to remove false teeth and glasses, but hearing aids should be left in. We will make you comfortable on a couch lying on your side. A clip will be placed on your finger to monitor your pulse and oxygen level. For some patients, you may also be given oxygen through a small tube placed just inside your nose. A spray to numb your throat or a sedative is given to make the procedure easier. A gastroscopy is only minimally uncomfortable and sedation is not required. The advantage of the spray option is that you can leave as soon as the procedure is finished and after you have talked with the endoscopist. You may resume your normal activities such as working and driving. You'll be fully aware of the procedure and most patients find this acceptable. If you have a sedative, we will give you an injection into a vein which will make you feel relaxed and sleepy but won't put you to sleep. This option means you may not be aware of the procedure and you won't be able to leave the unit until you have recovered. We will put a plastic guard into your mouth so that you do not bite and damage our scope. The endoscopist will then gently insert the endoscope through your mouth and into your stomach. For your comfort and reassurance, a trained nurse will stay with you throughout. As the gastroscope goes through your mouth, you may gag slightly. This is quite normal and will not interfere with your breathing. During the procedure, we will put some carbon dioxide gas into your stomach so that we have a clear view. This may make you burp and belch a little. This is also quite normal, but some people find this unpleasant. The actual time spent on an examination will vary between patients and examinations. The procedure can take between 10 and 15 minutes. If it takes longer, please do not worry. Potential risks. A gastroscopy is a very safe test and serious complications are uncommon. There may be a slight risk to teeth, crowns or dental bridge work and you should tell the nurses if you have any of these. Very occasionally, the gastroscope can damage the lining of the esophagus, stomach or intestine and bleeding may occur. Even more rarely, a tear in the esophagus or stomach can develop, which we call a perforation, and if this occurs, admission to hospital is necessary and occasionally surgery is required to repair the damage. Delayed complications can occur up to 14 days after your procedure. If you are travelling in this period, you must check your travel insurance provides adequate cover. Another rare complication is an adverse reaction to the intravenous sedative medication. Occasionally the test may be incomplete or abandoned altogether. This can happen if you find the procedure too uncomfortable or for other technical reasons. When this happens, the test may need to be repeated or we might suggest an alternative procedure.